Welcome back everybody and today is a fun day. I am going to make sandwich bread for the very first time. I've never done it before so I'm pretty excited about it and as I have mentioned in the past I'm very very interested in getting very adept at making rolls, bread, that kind of thing. So I've got my bowl set up here and I did plug it in. I remember that. And according to the instructions, um, I needed my water between 105 and 110, and I just checked it with my uh, thermometer, and it is at 107.9, so we are good. So it says I need three cups, so I thought what I would do is simply just do it this way, a little easier. So I need three of these, and I want to work a little quickly. So that my water doesn't get too cool on me. Okay. Sorry to be blocking the camera there, but I'm working fast. Okay. So we got our three cups of warm water. Uh, it wants a quarter cup of a sugar. Basically of your choice. I'm using honey. This is a really fantastic honey that I got right here. And I got a little bit of a glare here, but there you go. And I absolutely love this stuff. It, it was a little pricey, but it was worth it. I really, really love this stuff. It is a wildflower honey and the flavor, oh my goodness, that flavor is something else. It makes me want to have my own bees on my property here, but honestly, I don't want to do it unless I know I can do them justice because I know they need a lot of care and attention. And right now I don't have much time and my attention is taken up by many, many other things. Okay. So I'm actually just going to uh, set this aside, I think. Okay, I'm just going to set that over there. And I need to get my yeast and salt. It's Yeah, it says, uh, yeah, we want our oil and we want our yeast in. So I'm just going to go in order of appearance here. It's funny that the yeast is one of the last things that goes in. However, I'm going to put it in now. Okay, this is where I have to go. Jamie, put your glasses on. One and a half tablespoons. One and a half. Oh, excuse my little puppy over there. She has allergies. Okay, we need some salt. We need a tablespoon of salt. that in there I need two tablespoons of olive oil so we've got our warm water we've got our honey in there we've got our salt we are about to put two tablespoons of oil in there's one and two and then we've already added our yeast so we just need to combine these very quickly. Okay, so let's turn it on. Come on. All right. There we go. There's a strange delay with my mixer. I've always had it that way where it'll sometimes just pause. It's very strange. Never had a problem other than that. And once I turn it back off and turn it back on, it's fine. Okay. And it says, uh, once it's combined, I'm going to break that up just a tad. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Okay. Some of my yeast was kind of floating. Okay. Alrighty, so now it doesn't say to let the yeast proof. 
which I found interesting. Yeah, just says stir it in a large bowl and then stir in the flowers. So, okay, I will do that then. All right, so the flower is, we have two different ones. We're using, um, I just got this. This is pretty, I'm excited about this. The 365 brand of the whole wheat flour. It's all organic. I'm really, really excited about using it. And it calls for four and a half cups. So, you dry off some of that water that's inside my cups. So we're gonna use four and a quarter whole wheat and three of the unbleached bread flour, which I have right here. So let me get this open first. I'm trying to be dainty with this. There we go. I actually didn't make a horrendous mess, yay for me. Okay, so we're gonna go four and a quarter. And it says to stir in the wheat flour first. So there's one. There's two. Then this will make uh, two loaves, which I'm very happy about. I actually uh, got myself some brand new loaf pans. There's four and a quarter. That's quarter right there. <laughs> okay, and it says to go ahead and mix that in first because they want you to add the bread flour a little bit at a time as you go. Okay, while well, that's going, we want three of those. And it says to add a half cup at a time. So I will just do my one cup. So I'm going to bring you over. So you can see. It's a pretty shaggy dough. It's very wet. And it is... It has not pulled away from uh, clearly from the sides yet, so I'm gonna imagine. I would imagine that I need to um, let this go for at least a couple of minutes. I'll scrape down the sides as I go here, and um, okay. Now I would say it's actually pretty pretty mixed in. So let's start adding the um, red flour. And it says to add a cup at a time. So let's see here. Get my tripod to stand up there. So I started with a cup. I'm gonna do a half cup at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the mixer on. And I'm just knocking about a half cup in so that I can do that half cup at a time that they wanted. And I'm going to get, okay. Does seem to be mixing in nicely. Turn it up just a hair. Okay. Okay, that is one cup. Let me make a mental note of that here. I am not about to lose track of my cups. Okay, how are we looking here? Okay, it's looking pretty good. Let me bring you around. Ooh, excuse me. See, it's starting to pull away from the sides. 
Okay, let's check and see what the recipe says. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, it just says to keep going, but to mix it thoroughly before the next edition. Okay, so this is cup number two. Okay, that's about a half cup there. starting to come together. I'm going to let this uh, keep mixing. I'm going to keep adding the flour and I will rejoin you momentarily. Okie doke. We have done our mixing. I decided to try something since this is my first time doing it and I only need to impress myself. I decided <laughs> to see if my mixer is good enough to instead of kneading it by hand because this is a really good machine i've kneaded things in the past like pizza dough which i have made um i decided to let the machine do it just to see what would happen and it looks beautiful it looks really really lovely i gotta see if i can get it loose my dough hook is embedded in the dough oof there we go okay and the dough hook came out very clean, so I think it's been needed a while, and it smells fantastic. I would like to go on record as saying that. So let's see if we can get it out. I don't know. Come on. There we go. I put just a little bit of flour on my uh, wooden block here. I have some olive oil in the bottom. And the instructions, I lost my glasses again. This is what I get for taking them off, I suppose. Let's see. Okay, it's already been kneaded enough. I believe I need to roll it out. Let me go grab my glasses and I believe, I think, my rolling pin. I'll be right back. So I am going to, I looked at the, the instructions, and even though it's been fully kneaded, you see how smooth and beautiful that is? So basically, I just want to make sure that the entire surface looks as close to that as possible. Try to get all the little seams. So I am going to end up kneading it by hand at least a little bit. It is beautiful dough though. It's got some great elasticity. I talk like I know about bread and I don't. I know nothing. <laughs> it's just so puffy. I love it. <laughs> it is. It's so puffy. It's a puffy, happy ball of dough. All right, so I would say that that is just about as beautiful as I could hope for. So I do have one of these. However, by the time this rises, it will look like a hat. It's going to get up and walk away. So we're going to go ahead and use this. Now I'm going to roll it in the olive oil. I just used some extra virgin olive oil, probably about two tablespoons. Make sure it's good and coated. Matter of fact, I may sheet just a little bit and put a little dibble on top so that my top does not get dry and gnarly because we don't want gnarly bread. We want tasty bread. Okay. So, now we're going to put it in a warm place, and it says to let it, let it rise for about an hour to an hour and a half in a warm spot. We're waiting for it to double. So, I'm going to cover it and get it in a nice warm spot. And actually, probably the spot it's in is the warmest because the dishwasher is going. So, I will get that covered, and I will see you shortly. Okay, we're back. This is pretty phenomenal. As you can see, our dough has gone crazy. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but I'm going to try. 
Nope, it quit. I moved it and it shifted. Wait. I don't know if you can hear it, but the dough is actually, you can hear it kind of bubbling. It's, it's a trip. Anyways, we've got our loaf pans right here. I'm going to set these aside for the moment. And it says we need to punch this baby down. Okay. So awesome. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's out. It says cut it into two. So I'm going to say that's it. Let's say it's probably pretty good right there. Okay, so I cut, got it cut in, in half. I can't talk tonight. And it says to basically kind of make a rectangle, a little eight by six rectangle. And see, that's probably pretty good. And then it says with the, the short side basically to roll it up, I think is what it said. Turn it out fly, fly, okay. Beginning at the, yeah, roll up the dough and push in the sides gently until you have formed an even log. Okay, yeah, so, and I don't like the way that looks, so I'm going to do it this way, because we want a pretty side. Whoop. Things are getting crazy in here. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put some butter or something here. I'm just going to use my olive oil. And some over here. Oop. And I guess we don't need this guy anymore, so i tell you what. Just kind of spread it around. And it does say to, yeah, just put them in the loaf pans, seam side down. And then we're going to spread the olive oil around on this guy. I can't believe how much fun I'm having doing this. I feel so accomplished. And yet this is... Um, dare I say relaxing? I'm actually like, I mean, I always love cooking and I'm always having fun and I'm always, you know, kind of in this happy place. But I never thought for a second that making bread would, you know, make me, I don't know, really relaxed and just like, it's soothing, I guess is maybe the word I'm trying to look for. It's kind of strange, isn't it? Okay. Well, now we have finished loaf pans and they need to rise for another hour. So this is, uh, this is really exciting. Um, yeah, um, I think you can score at this point. No, you score them before they go in the oven, as far as I know. Okay, so the instructions do say to go ahead and um, they're formed, they're in the pans, cover the loaves with a tea towel, let it rest for another hour until they, they get poofy, and uh, about 15 minutes beforehand, preheat your oven to 425. I am so into this. I'm loving it. Oh, I have just unlocked a new level of fun. Okay. All right. So let's see. What is our time? Nine o'clock. Okay. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't dent them too much when I got excited there. Okay. So I will see you back in an hour. This is exciting. I'm so happy. Alrighty. It is 10 o'clock and let's see what happened. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh 
My goodness, they're huge. Oof. Well, um, I would say that this sandwich spread uh, is looking pretty good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's, it's time to put them in the oven. Uh, the oven's all hot and ready to go. And the instructions say 25 to 30 minutes until it's nice and brown on top. So I'm going to get these in the oven and I will see you in 25 to 30 minutes. <laughs> these things are massive. <laughs> Okay, everybody, I'm down to the last 30 seconds and I peeked at the bread and it looks amazing. I am stunned I made this. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're going to take this out of the oven. Let's uh, show. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Wowzers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Try to get it out of the oven without it. The non-stick is so non-stick that I can't get a grip on it. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's just the pans are so slick that I couldn't get a grip on it. They started actually sliding out of the oven. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. I made bread. And it's done. Yay. Yay. You can't see me, but I'm doing a happy dance. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd say we did pretty good. Um, it needs to uh, cool on a wire rack. Um, it's, it's 425 degrees at this point. I'm not going to try and flip it out, but I will shortly. Um, oh, wow. I am so happy. This was so much fun. I can't believe how much fun I had just making sandwich bread. This, oh, I just, I just started something, a whole new thing. Yeah, I'm going to, I, you know, I was swore for years. I wasn't into baking. I'm just, I, I'm just not interested in baking. I lied my butt off. This is so much fun. I'm going to be doing this all the time. It's a good thing you can freeze stuff like this because I'm going to have an, a huge amount of bread probably. It, just everywhere, just everywhere. Everyone, I am so glad that you came along with me. I was able to share this this with you. I'm beyond excited, beyond happy, and thank you for coming along. Um, wow, this was fun. I had, I had a blast. <laughs> All right, guys, um, I love you. Take care. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content, and thanks. I had fun. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.